briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the Court of Appeal of the State of California heard the case Boro v. Superior Court, which questioned whether consent obtained through deception is valid in sexual encounters. The case involved Daniel Boro, who deceived Miss R into having sex with him by pretending to be an anonymous donor with a serum that could cure her illness. Boro was charged with five offenses including rape, attempted theft, and burglary. The court dismissed some of the charges, but the rape of an unconscious person remained. The legal question centered on whether fraudulently impersonating a spouse to obtain sexual favors constituted rape. Miss R believed that intercourse was the only available option to her under the circumstances, and thus consented. The court ultimately ruled that Boro's fraudulent actions didn't violate Section 261, Subdivision 4, which focused on force, violence, or threats. Consequently, the court determined that the petitioner could be prosecuted under this provision, and the writ of prohibition was denied. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.